Well, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up, Ryan Pierce has a story of two computer gamers from Yarmouth who are playing in the big leagues. We'll hear from him in a minute. But first, let's check in with our colleagues at Information Morning with what they're working on for tomorrow. Here's mainland producer Diane Paquette. Well, it's a dream come true for a pair of twin brothers from Yarmouth. Their new video game is about to be released for the Xbox 360. Matthew and Jason Doucette placed seventh in the world in an independent design contest for Microsoft. And the brothers say this is just the beginning for their new company. Ryan Pierce has their story. It started with the classics like Super Mario, Pac-Man and Space Invaders. Before long, the twins were hooked on programming. Immediately. We almost before, as soon as I, we, we first saw video games, we tried programming them. That was in grade three. Today at age 34, Jason's specialty is game code. Matthew's a programmer too, but part of his job is also marketing the game. He says at first, they just wanted to give it away. What gamers want is everything for nothing, and that's exactly how to go out of business. So you almost have to kind of switch into a different mode and remember that you're a business, and that's actually the hardest part for us because we are just, we are true gamers. They're still working on a final price. Duality ZF is the name of the game, and this year it was the highest ranked shoot 'em up in Microsoft's independent game design contest. The brothers placed in the top 2% in the world, creating a shooter with a twist. As many as four players can play at once, and each player controls two ships. The twins say that's a first. When the game comes out this fall, they're hoping some of the 30 million Xbox users out there will give their game a chance. They'll be able to download it to their Xboxes for less than $5. The twins only need a few thousand people to buy the game for them to break even. Hopefully, with each new game we make, it will be better, and we'll have a bigger fan base, and we'll get more sales and eventually make a living out of it. Matt and Jason say retro games are hot right now, and they want to capitalize by making more games in that classic style, just like the days when they were kids, passing the controller back and forth in front of the TV. What we want to do is make the games that we wanted to make back when we were kids, that we wanted to play and make when we were kids, and now we're doing that. First, they need to polish up their game for a worldwide release on Xbox Live this fall. With some time out for a few grudge matches, just to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Ryan Pierce, CBC News, Yarmouth. Well, the boys have their game on for sure. Amy Smith is here now. She's working on CBC News, Halifax at 5.30. Amy, what